let us solve some problems related to section midpoint and centroids okay let us look at the first one find the point dividing the join of 2 minus 3 1 and 3 2 1 in the ratio 2 is to 3 okay so let a is equal to 2 minus 3 1 b is equal to 3 2 minus 1 and this is supposed to be minus 1 okay let uh, r be the midpoint okay so we know that m is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3 so r is equal to we know the formula mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n similarly my2 plus ny1 by m plus n and finally mz2 plus nz1 by m plus 1 okay now let's do the substitutions m is 2 x2 is b 3 so this will be 2 times 3 plus 3 times 2 by 3 plus 2 times 2 plus 3 times minus 3 by 3 plus 2 2 times minus 1 plus 3 times 1 by 3 plus 2 okay now let's just simplify it 6 plus 6 by 5 4 minus 9 by 5 minus 2 plus 3 by 5 which is equal to 12 by 5 minus 5 by 5 1 by 5 which is equal to 12 by 5 comma minus 1 comma 1 by 5 so this is the coordinates of the midpoint okay let's do the second one the points given are 2 comma minus 3 1 and b is equal to 3 4 and minus 5 and the ratio that is given is 1 is to 3 so let's say r is equal to now we remember that equation mx2 plus nx1 so that would be 1 times 3 by plus 3 times 2 by 1 plus 3 and then we have 1 times 4 plus 3 times minus 3 by 1 plus 3 1 times minus 5 plus 3 times 1 by 1 plus 3 which is equal to 3 plus 6 by 4 4 minus 9 by 4 minus 5 plus 3 by 4 6 plus 3 9 by 4 minus 5 by 4 and minus 2 by 4 this cancels so this becomes 9 by 4 minus 5 by 4 and minus 1 by okay let's do the third one a line joining 5 comma minus 3 comma 1 and 3 to 7 divides the x o y plane find the ratio okay now when we say x o y plane means z is equal to 0 okay so now let the ratio be k is to 1 then r would be equal to again same formula 3k plus 5 by k plus 1 similarly 2k minus 3 by k plus 1 7k plus 1 by k plus 1 okay 
Now here we are given that we are given that uh, z is equal to zero, which means seven k plus one by k plus one equal to zero. So which implies seven k plus one equal to zero. Seven k is equal to minus one. So that means k is equal to minus one by seven, right? So we have to remember find the ratio which we have found, but now it is in negative. So which means the ratio is one is to seven externally. If it is negative, it is externally external division. If it is positive, it is internal division. Okay, let's do the next one. P is equal to three comma two comma minus four. Q is equal to five four minus six. And the ratio is, or the midpoint is, R is equal to nine eight minus ten. And R is nine eight minus ten. Show that the points are collinear, and then we also have to show or find the ratio Q ratio by which Q divides P R. So we have to show two things: one and two. Okay, let's take it one by one. Since we don't know the ratio, let's say ratio is ratio. Is equal to k is to one. Okay, so remember we know that q is the midpoint. That is why I find the ratio by which q divides. So q is the midpoint. So five four six is equal to, and then we use the formula nine k plus three. Nine k plus three by k plus one. 8k plus 2 by k plus 1, and finally minus 10k minus 4 by k plus 1. Now basically we can choose any x, y, or z. So let's try with all the three. So 9k plus 3 by k plus 1 is equal to 5, which implies 9k plus 3 is equal to 5k plus 5. 9k minus 5k is 4k. 5 minus 3 is 2. So k is equal to 2 by 4, which is 1 by 2. Now, if we had chosen uh, some other this one, then also we should get 1 by 2. So 8k plus 2 by k plus 1 is equal to 4, which implies 8k plus 2 is equal to 4k plus 4. Which implies 8k minus 4k is 4k. 4 minus 2 is 2, which implies k is equal to 2 by 4, which is equal to 1 by 2. Similarly, minus 10k minus 4 by k plus 1 is equal to 6, which implies minus 10k minus 4 is equal to 6k. Plus six, which implies minus ten k minus six k is minus sixteen uh, k. Okay, uh, then sixteen k uh, equal to six plus four ten, which is equal to minus no k is equal to ten by sixteen. Okay, minus now. This is wrong, right? So, what is the mistake that we have made? So, the mistake can be either here or here, right? So, let's see whether we have made a mistake. The simpler one we might have made is this. Okay, five four six five four minus six. So, this should have been minus six, right? So, a very common mistake is. From one step to another step, making a mistake in the sign. So, which means uh, its impact is very low, right? 
by just changing this uh, 6 to minus 6, uh, it, it is not being used anywhere here at all. It is going to be used only here. So this should be, um, let's remove this, let's remove this, and this is minus 6. So now minus 10k minus 4 is equal to minus 6k minus 6, okay, which implies minus 4k is equal to minus 2, which implies k is equal to 2 by 4 or 1 by 2. Yes, okay, making mistakes is not an issue. The issue is figure it out and rectify it. Okay, let's look at the next one. Find the centroid of the triangle with vertices A0, 0, 0, 0, B0, and 0, 0, C. Now, remember the centroid G is equal to, its formula is X1 plus X2 plus X3 divided by 3. Y2 plus Y3 plus, uh, better to write it in order, Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3 is equal to uh, by 3. Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3 by 3. Okay, let's do the substitutions. Okay, now here uh, X1 is A. So, A by 3. X2, X3 is 0, 0. Here B by 3, here C by 3, yes. Pretty straightforward, there's, there's na nothing much to think about there, provided you remember the formula. Okay, now centroid of triangle is given to 1 minus 1. And we are also given A is equal to 1, 2, minus 1. B is equal to 2, 0, 3. We have to figure out the third vertex. Right? So, let C is equal to X, Y, Z. Pretty straightforward. We already know what is G. So, 2, 1, minus 1 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus X by 3. 2 plus 0 plus uh, y by 3 and minus 1 plus 3 plus z by now just a question of equating individually and solving. So 2 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus x by 3 which implies 6 is equal to 3 plus x which implies x is equal to 6 minus 3 which is 3. Similarly, 1 is equal to 2 plus 0 plus y by 3, which implies 3 is equal to 2 plus y, which implies y is equal to 3 minus 2, which is 1. Similarly, minus 1 is equal to minus 1 plus 3 plus z by 3. Minus 3 is equal to 2 plus z or z is equal to minus 3 minus 2 which is minus 5. So that means c is equal to x is 3, y is 1 and z is minus 5. Let's do one more. Uh, let's say we have been given the coordinates of three vertices of a parallelogram. So three vertices of a parallelogram right the vertices are let's say a is equal to 2 1 minus 3 b is equal to 2 4 3 and c is equal to 1 4 7 b is equal to what right uh, now, uh, let's say A, B, C, D are this, A, B, C, D, right? 
we know that this is equal to this yes and this is equal to this so now what we do is we figure out the distance between b and c right remember this is 2 4 3 and this is 1 4 7 let's figure out the distance between b and c uh, in each coordinates right so that would be 2 minus 1 which is 1 4 minus 4 which is 0 3 minus 7 which is minus 4 now remember this distance would be the same between a and d right so a and d now uh, a is 2 1 minus 3 right and this is x y and z so here what you do 2 minus 1 now the same calculations we do with respect to a and b so what happens 2 minus x is equal to 1 the same distance okay similarly 1 minus y is equal to 0 and minus 3 minus z is equal to minus 4 so this implies uh, minus x is equal to 1 minus 2 which implies x equal to minus 2 minus 1 so 1 this implies minus y is equal to minus 1 which implies y is equal to 1 this implies uh, minus z is equal to minus 4 plus 3 which implies z is equal to 1 so therefore c is equal to c x y z is equal to 1 comma 1 comma 1 right let's put c in vector form would be i plus j plus k right so that is it for today by for now